Okay, I'm making a video today on a new camera that I have purchased. Um, this video is uh, just a little uh, introduction on, on, this on this camera that I just purchased. It is in no way uh, am I being paid for this or, or being uh, compensated in any way. Um, I'm just sharing my information about this camera with the world. So the camera here, as you can tell, is a uh, Vivitar, and it's what they call a Vivicam X029 camera. It's a 10.1 uh, uh, megapixel. It has a uh, 2.7 preview screen, 4 times digital zoom, anti-shake, lithium battery, and an AC charger. Also, you can um, charge this from your USB on your computer. Uh, it also has a, uh, comes with software, and then it has uh, Twitter, right here, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. You can upload directly to those. And then uh, what you get with the camera is a USB cable, a wrist strap, um, instruction manual and you get one year warranty. Now, <clears throat> now believe it or not this camera uh, normally sells for $69.99 and I found it on sale for uh, $49.99. So as you can see um, I've unboxed it, taken it out and putting it on the table but um, I wanted to show you all the stuff that this comes with. Uh, auto flash, red eye reduction, high definition, uh, self timer. So if you want to take a picture with your with you in the picture, uh, anti shake. Um, so you keep it steady when you're taking pictures. It has a smile and face detection, so it detects a smile and uh, if you're taking a picture of somebody's face. Uh, continuous shooting. You can shoot. Uh, I think it's up to six pictures in a row really fast just by hitting the button and it has a lithium ion battery with an AC charger the only thing that it doesn't come with is uh, right here in that little red box you can't read it but it says uh, software CD is uh, included in this package but uh, the thing that it doesn't come with is a uh, memory SD card and you need to purchase one of them in order for it to work because everything goes on to uh, the SD card. It has no internal memory whatsoever in the camera. And then what it works with is Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7. Um, it has to have an Intel processor based, uh, if you're using a Mac, uh, with OS 10, uh, 10.5 or higher. Um, it's a digital camera and it's also a video camera. And as you see, there's the CD software it comes with for editing and putting stuff online. Uh, the AC charger. This is a USB uh, plug that goes into the charger right there. And then plugs into the camera. Uh, right there where the little black thing is right here. And then also you can plug this into your computer and into the camera and you could charge it from your USB. Um, you can also buy accessories for this to charge your stuff and your camera in the car. Uh, has They have packs, they have SD cards, they have uh, um, for the screen covers, they have a whole bunch of stuff involved in it. And then uh, here's your, your easy guide uh, instruction manual. Okay, I'm going to switch cameras now and I'm going to uh, plug in the OS or the uh, XO29 and charge it for a few hours. And then I'm going to uh, turn it on and I'll tell you all about it. Oh, it, here's the back of it. Um, these are your controls. Your zoom in, zoom out. has four times the zoom. Your power button and then also your shutter button. So I'm going to plug this in, charge it up, 
and then I'll turn it on and we'll finish this video with that camera. Okay, so I charged the uh, the battery. It seems like it, it only took it took a little a little short of 30 minutes to to charge the battery. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you a few more things in the side here. On the side, right there, here's, here's the back of the camera. On the side, right here, this right here, you slide down, and it pops up. And in there is the battery and the SD card. You can see the SD card right here, and then uh, this piece here. That's the battery, and the SD card slides down in there. And then you just push this and slide it back, and it's in. And then, uh, of course, you know that's the front of the camera. So this is your flash, your lens, and this is just some writing, uh, 2.7 LCD monitor, 10.1 uh, megapixels, and then the four times zoom. And then on the back, you got your screen right here. Now, it looks kind of funny because uh, my daughter put a protective coating on it. And I'll take it off so it doesn't get scratched, but I'll take it off for video purposes. But um, so what you have here is um, this is your when it works with your zoom, but then it also works with your menu. And then there's four separate arrows around the outside. You could turn on and off the flash at the top. Uh, this goes to next picture when you're in picture mode or movie mode. Uh, this is what they call a V-link. So when you set it up you could put like YouTube in here and then when you do videos it'll go right to YouTube as soon as you connect this to your computer and it'll download the video and then this is for movie or picture mode and then the middle is your set button and then up on top uh, the button on the left side here is your power and then this is your uh, shutter button and then on the bottom it has a place to hook your uh, uh, right here, you can hook your tripod. So let's um, let's turn it on and see if we can pick up the screen here. So there's your screen with your little icons around there. And then, like I said, if you push the uh, the button over here, you know you get to your screen. So now it's kind of bright, but uh, that's for your scene, uh, portrait, night night scenario, and stuff like that. And then. Uh, you got your image resolution, then you got your image quality, then you got your self timer, so if you want to take a picture of yourself in the picture, then you got your anti shake on or off, and then you got your face detection on and off, your smile capture on and off, your white balance, uh, your color effect, your multi snapshot, so if you, you know, you can take up to six snapshots at a time. Uh, real fast, like fast shots. And then this is image sharpness, light exposure, ISO, then your metering, your language. And it has about eight or ten different languages. Uh, you have English, Dutch, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, and it goes on. They get German, Italian, Spanish. Uh, this is date and time set up. Uh, that's silent mode, or you, you, you know, makes noise. You can hear it as it switches. And then it has your uh, auto power on and off, one minute, three minute, five minutes. So when if you just set it aside, it'll automatically shut off. Then it's got your frequencies, uh, 60 hertz. Uh, your formatting for your SD card, and then at the end is your firmware. It's uh, that's your default settings. And then you just uh, go right back to the screen. So that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to uh, shut this camera off because, uh, of course, I couldn't take a picture of that camera but with itself. So I've been using my daughter's camera. Um, this camera is a uh, is a Canon, and uh, I don't even know the model number, but. Uh, I've been using this camera to make my videos with and that's why I bought the other camera because uh, you know she was getting to where she needed the camera so now I can give her her camera back after I finish this video 
So now I'll shut hers off and uh, I can use this one here. And I'll go take some pictures with it and tell you exactly how it is, how it works, and then uh, show you how it works by posting the videos up on YouTube. So let me just uh, give me a couple seconds to put this camera away and we'll power up the other one. Okay, so, okay, so here's the, uh, this is my camera, uh, the, the Vivitar uh, Vivicam XO29. And um, I'm taking a picture of the carton so that you can compare it to the, uh, the other camera. So the difference is the other camera costs uh, close to about 400 bucks. It's a regular uh, HD movie camera. And um, this one is just a uh, little handheld. You saw what it looked like. And um, it cost $69 and I got it on sale for $49. So here you can compare the images of the, uh, the original box like I did in the beginning part of this video. Here's a, uh, here's a picture of my, uh, my oldest daughter's cat. And this is inside. These videos are taken inside, so you can see the quality of the uh, of the video right there. So now we're going to go uh, take a step outside and see what we can. Okay, so here I am outside. I'm taking a picture just of the mountains and down the street, and just to get the uh, the feel of uh, this is the neighborhood. Just to get the uh, the feel of the camera. This is going up towards my backyard. So uh, to tell you about it a little bit, um, the only thing that I notice is that when if you play back your video uh, through the camera, uh, the speaker is very small, so it sounds very raspy. But yet when you load it up into the uh, computer, uh, it sounds fine. It's it's in stereo and and sounds really good. So it's just the uh, the part of doing it uh, with the camera, I guess because the camera is so small, so the uh, the speakers. The other thing that I noticed too is that uh, the slightest little breeze or, or you know, from a fan in the house or uh, outside when the wind blows uh, will distort the, the, uh, the sound. So you have to be real careful. I like that the battery charges really fast. And uh, for the money and for uh, uploading videos to YouTube and putting pictures on um, Facebook or even on um, some of the other channels, uh, Photo Bucket and things like that, uh, Daily Boost, um, I think it's a very good camera. So it's, it's, uh, it's high definition. Uh, it's got some of the qualities that the, the other cameras have. Even the, um, the qualities that uh, some of the uh, flip phones or flip cameras have. So I recommend it. I give it a big thumbs up. Um, go out and buy you one and, and try it out. It works really well as far as I'm concerned. So all my videos now will be done with uh, this camera. Uh, the other videos, uh, the last few that I've had, on, or on my YouTube channel, some of them are done with a little uh, uh, VX700 from uh, Microsoft, which I did a video about that, and uh, did a few videos with that camera. It's just a little webcam that sits on top of my laptop. And then the other videos uh, were done uh, with my daughter's camera, which is a $400 Canon high definition and then now from this point on from this video on it will be done with the uh, Vivitar Vivicam X029 uh, which I'm starting to like this little camera so until next time uh, this is Mercury Blue 78 peace and love and we'll see you on the next video.